Meanwhile, we're following breaking news that we brought you at the top of the hour. A law enforcement officer opening fire in the Talmadge neighborhood. We know that several agencies have responded to the scene. Our Liberty Zabala, she rushed, rushed to that area. She joins us now with what she's learning tonight. Liberty. Good evening, Maria. Yes, we just got to the scene here on Monroe Avenue and Callwood Lane, and I want to just show you the scene behind me. You can see where officers have this area blocked off with yellow caution tape here, and it appears that homicide detectives are also showing up here. Now, the details are sparse, but here's what we know so far. Just before 9 p.m. tonight, the San Diego Police Watch Commander says deputies entered the San Diego Police jurisdiction, and they say deputies may have fired their weapons Weapon, and Chula Vista police may have also been involved as well. Now, Chula Vista police, San Diego police and sheriff's deputies all responded to this scene. Now, the lieutenant on scene says it is unclear who fired at this time. However, no officers were shot and no officers were injured. Now, po San Diego police homicide units are here to investigate as part of standard protocol. And as we know right now, the details are very sparse. We are working to get more information from officers at the scene here. But again, uh, the lieutenant on scene says if San Diego police does investigate an officer involved shooting, it typically means that another agency was involved in that shooting. But right now we are trying to work with officers to figure out which agencies were involved. We also know that one person was transported to the hospital, but no details on or description of that person at this time. Again, we are waiting for the homicide lieutenant to get to the scene here to get more information, but that can take anywhere from 90 minutes to several more hours. I'll send it back to you in the studio.